The first three episodes of The Bad Batch have confirmed that Omega's blood is able to take a transfusion of midichlorian rich blood without degrading, making her of interest to the Empire with what Palpatine's trying to do, but this also just raises the question of where exactly they're getting the blood that they're testing with. I assumed that this tube that Palpatine, Hemlock, and Alice are walking up to was some kind of cloning tube, and they're potentially making a new Force-sensitive clone, but given that they're doing this daily testing with blood that seems to have a high M count, I think that this might actually be somewhere that they're keeping a Force-sensitive alive. Sure, Palpatine could be giving his own blood, but he's usually away on business, and same with a lot of the other Inquisitors. This is a lot of blood they're probably going through, taking several samples every day, and I doubt that they're able to clone the metachlorian rich blood after they have it. I could also see Palpatine not wanting to give a gallon of blood to a bunch of cloning scientists. So my two biggest questions are, who's in the tube, and should they subscribe for more videos?